Hello everybody, this is Mr. Cool Potato and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a tutorial on how to make YouTube videos. How I make the videos and how you can start editing. So a lot of people have asked me what editing software I use, how I edit, some people even said to make a tutorial, so here it is. Also if you haven't watched my recording tutorial already, I will have a link in the description. Just go watch that and then come right back here. It's all going to make way more sense if you watch it. So I use an editor called Final Cut Pro 10. It is a paid software on Mac. For Mac, I also recommend iMovie, which is completely free, and I will be doing the tutorial on both of those softwares. Final Cut Pro is more of a pro software, so if you have any paid software like Filmora Pro, Premiere Pro, all, all those other ones, you could follow the Final Cut Pro tutorial. This video is going to be broken up into parts, so if you need help with a specific thing, you could just skip to the part. Alright, so to sync up audio, this is what I do. I hit my controllers together like this while they're both recording so that I can go frame by frame. I can see that um, my controllers are hitting here. All I want to do is take this point and match it up. Also, you can do it for the other ones, like right here. I hit it again, I match that point up, and that is how I do it. So basically, iMovie is the same thing. You just find your clip. Right here is where I hit, so I command B to split the clip, delete that, and drag it to where my controller hits, which is right there. So for the blur effect, the one that's at the screen, if you, if you don't do that, like look down here, this is all cut off. So if I make that bigger, it's all cut off down there. You do not want that. So what I do, I put it about here, so there's like that much room. And then I take my clip, control C, control V, copy it, paste it right there. So there's two clips on top of each other. And then you want to take the bottom clip and drag it all the way out. So now it looks like this. Now you go into your effects tab, blur, and then I use Gasson blur, Gasson, I don't know how to pronounce that. You put it at the bottom, and now you have your blur effect. So when you play the video, it's blurred there, and it looks like it's bigger than it is. Now for the blur effect, it's a little bit more complicated than Final Cut Pro, but it's easy once you get the hang of it. Click your clip, click crop, crop to fill, put this here, and then click the check. Now, click this pull focus, drag it onto your timeline, and extend it for as long as your clip is. This is only a little bit of my clip. The clip would be way longer. So now what you want to do is go over here, double click that, and then delete it. So now you can blur stuff. And what you want to do is click here, export it, make sure that it says video and audio, and then click next, save it wherever you want. Now that will export, gotta wait for that. Now that that is done, you find your clip, drag it onto the timeline. Now what you could do now is delete this one and this one. Now you go over to this clip and drag it on top of this one. Now. You take this clip, this one is the blurry one, and then this one is the not blurry one. You take this clip, click crop, and then you can make this bigger, like that. However big, however much space you want to put here. Click OK, and then there you go. It's blurred on the edges. So if you want to do more blurry, all you need to do is take your blurry clip, Put pull focus on it again. Then you delete everything inside here. Drag it all the way out. And now it's super blurry. So here's just some tips and tricks that I found was very helpful when making YouTube videos. So the first tip is to make your videos interesting. That is literally the most important thing you can do as a YouTuber. I know you might want to watch that entire 40 minute video of you playing a game, but people don't. Remember, people are bored on YouTube, 
and if they are not interested in your video, they will click off. So just remember to cut out any, any not interesting part, any part where you're not talking, or any part that is just plain boring. The second tip is to add music. If there is some boring parts, then they can jam out to the music while it gets interesting. It makes people want it more, and it also just makes it more enjoyable. Like this song, this is Donkey Kong Country theme. I have a playlist of all the songs that I use on my channel. Just go to my channel, and then the playlist tab, and you'll see it. So just remember to add music. And third, the thumbnail is key. If you have a thumbnail like this, people will never click on it. You gotta have a good thumbnail. One tip that I like to do is to outline everything that you want to be important. So a person, like here I outlined me and this other thing. So just outline the stuff that you want to be important. It stands out more. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This video was a bit of a short one and a tutorial. Not that interesting. I'm not very good at making tutorials, but hopefully this helped. If it did, please subscribe. It means a lot to me and liking also helps a ton. And thank you so, so much to Stickman Owen for this amazing art of my Rec Room character. Go subscribe to him. He also makes VR videos. Link will be in the description. And goodbye.